Good day, learners. I am Miss Tin, your guru Kamigo. Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me. Today, we will learn about conservation and protection of estuaries and intertidal zone. At the end of this video lesson, Grade 5 learners are expected to explain the need to protect and conserve estuaries and intertidal zones. Intertidal zones and estuaries are examples of bodies of water which are home to various life forms such as fishes, seagrasses, sea stars, crabs, shrimps, seashells, mangroves, sea urchins, and others. Intertidal zone, commonly known as seashore or coast. It is where tides are observed. This area within tidal range is covered during high tide and exposed during low tide, thus named intertidal zone. Estuary, however, is a body of water in which seawater meets with fresh water. It connects rivers to the sea. Intertidal zones and estuaries are important bodies of water because they provide a lot of benefits. These areas are home to a lot of plants and animals, which provide food, medicine, and other products. They also serve as a breeding ground and nursery of young aquatic animals. They also protect us from big waves, strong winds, and even during storms. They also serve as the exit point of water during floods. Estuaries filter salt from the sea water. These areas also give significant contribution to tourism, agriculture and fisheries, and our economy as a whole. Because of its importance, we should take care of these bodies of water. We need to protect and conserve these places. As a youth, you can do simple things at home and in your community to help these ecosystems. Here are some ways that you can do at home. As much as possible, avoid using synthetic fertilizers. Plants do not absorb them completely, and it can wash off into our streams and waterways. Use natural fertilizers instead. Trim grass clippings from your lawn can be used as a natural fertilizer. Cut grass moderately. A little height can make the roots move deeper and may lessen erosion. Grow plants in your garden. Choose plants that are native to your area so that it would need less water and fertilizer. Dispose toxic products properly. Improper disposal may pollute coastal rivers and estuaries. Remind your parents to pump your septic tanks at least every three years. Use non-toxic pesticides. Examples of which is a mixture of soap water and chili pepper. Excessive use of toxic pesticides can pollute nearby waterways. Look for natural alternatives to chemical-based household products. Examples of which are table salt and baking soda. Always clean up after your pet's waste. Never let their waste be washed up to waterways and end up polluting our estuaries. At the beach, here are the things that you can do. Leave our beaches clean. Always pick up your trash and dispose it properly. Do not disturb or keep animals that you found along the shoreline. Avoid using motorized boats in sensitive habitats. 
Use canoe or kayak if you want to snorkel near the coral reefs. When on a boat, avoid throwing your trash out to the sea. Moreover, sustaining the stability of these bodies of water is also a significant factor that we could do as stewards of Mother Earth. We should avoid some practices that would contribute to the destruction of estuaries and intertidal zones. Industrial pollution, over-harvesting of aquatic species, dredging, draining, and paving over estuarine waterways, oil spills, and population growth in coastal watersheds are some threats to estuaries and intertidal zones. Thus, in order to conserve and protect this, let's help one another and do our part as good citizens and guardians of God's creations. Let's have fun and do this activity. Learning Task 1 Draw a happy face if the statement states a way of protecting and conserving estuaries and intertidal zones. If it does not, draw a sad face. Dispose toxic products properly. Very good! The answer is happy face. Respect animals that you find along the seashore. Good job! The answer is happy face. Use disposable plastic bags rather than reusable ones. Good job! The answer is sad face. Encourage fishermen not to engage in dynamite fishing. Correct! The answer is happy face. Let your pet's waste be washed up to waterways. Correct! The answer is sad face. When on a boat, avoid throwing your trash out to the sea. Excellent! The answer is happy face. Disturb animals that you found along the shoreline. Nice! The answer is sad face. Avoid using motorized boats in sensitive habitats. Very good! The answer is happy face. Grow plants in your garden. You've got it right. It's happy face. Look for natural alternatives to chemical-based household products. Correct! It's a happy face. Now it's time for the next activity. Learning Task 2 Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Write your answers on your answer sheet. Improperly disposed household chemicals can harm our water supply. Very good! The answer is true. Homes of vital marine life like estuaries should be treated with carelessness.
Good job! The answer is false. Growing native plants in your garden would need less water and fertilizer. Nice! The answer is true. Disposal of solid and liquid waste in rivers and streams helps keep estuaries healthy. False is the correct answer. Overfishing harms estuaries and intertidal zones. Excellent! The answer is true. For your last activity, read the questions carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer. Why are estuaries important to our environment? 1. They help to filter pollutants from the water. 2. They provide homes for many species of wildlife. 3. They are important nursery areas for a variety of marine life. A. 1 and 2 B. 2 and 3 C. 1 and 3 D. 1, 2, and 3 The correct answer is letter D. Who among the following does not show way of protecting and conserving estuaries and intertidal zones? A. Arnell dumps his waste in a proper container. B. Maggie limits the use of plastic products. C. Nico uses synthetic fertilizer for his crops. D. Rose recycles all things into something new. Correct! The answer is letter C. Which of the following activities or situations is the most environment-friendly? A. Building dams along the river B. Commercially developing coastal watersheds C. Dumping chemicals into bodies of water D. Constructing a water treatment plant in your area Good job! The answer is letter D. As a grade 5 pupil, in what way can you protect estuaries and intertidal zones? A. Join organizations that promotes conversion of estuaries and intertidal zones to commercial areas. B. Practice actions that could put estuaries at risk. C. Take part in coastal cleanup drives and disseminate information on the proper care of estuaries. D. Dispose oil and other household waste on waterways. Nice! The answer is letter C. How can you become a good steward of Mother Nature? 1. Follow safety practices imposed by the authority. 2. Avoid using reusable materials at home. 3. Discourage others in planting different kinds of plants. A. 1 B. 1 and 2 C. 2 and 3 D, 1, 2, and 3 Very good! The answer is letter A That's the end of our lesson. I hope you'd learned something new today. Till next time, bye!